The Senate has often been referred to as the world's greatest deliberative body, but nothing could be further from the truth. The Senate has become a dysfunctional institution where deliberation is rare and obstruction is rampant. At the heart of Senate dysfunction is the filibuster, a tool that was intended to protect the ability of senators to debate, but has now been regularly abused to block legislation and effectively bring the Senate to a standstill. When many Americans think of the filibuster, they recall the famous scene in the movie Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, where Jimmy Stewart's character speaks continually on the floor for hours to prove his innocence before finally collapsing in exhaustion. In the movie, the filibuster was a principled act of sacrifice. In the Senate today, it's quite the opposite. A single senator can block a bill from being debated by simply making a phone call to a clerk. That is not what the filibuster is supposed to be. The American people believe the filibuster is an act of political courage. Let's make it so. First, we must make the filibuster real. No more senators hiding in the shadows. Senators who want to filibuster should stay on the floor like Jimmy Stewart and keep debating. Every senator should have to make their case before the American people. Second, there should only be one filibuster on each bill to provide full debate, not multiple filibusters designed to generate paralysis. Finally, to restore the Senate's role as a functional legislative body, we need to get back to the business of considering and voting on amendments. Senators from both parties should have a chance to put their ideas forward and have them voted on. The Senate has never been more broken. In 2010, the Senate failed to debate appropriation bills. It failed to debate a budget. Several hundred House bills lie on the floor collecting dust. And there are nearly 100 judicial and executive nominees suspended without action. Our nation is facing serious challenges, from backbreaking unemployment and an ongoing housing crisis to wars and deficits. We cannot meet these challenges with a dysfunctional Congress and an executive and judicial branches hamstrung by vacancies. America's families and businesses can't afford Senate inaction any longer. It is time to end this paralysis and restore the Senate as a great deliberative body.